Right, we should check if there's a, a football. Yeah, Wolf Bolt is still around here. Hopefully he doesn't have like 2k troops by now. I'm a mercenary. Uh, there is no real point in being a vassal until you want to form your own kingdom or your own knighthood order, I guess. You just get paid a lot more for being a mercenary than you get out of your fives, so... Usually I'm a mercenary until I want to create a knighthood order. Or start my own kingdom, for that matter, or just conquer the map. And so when you get your charisma up and your leadership up, you can get uh, a lot more, like almost double the pay from the mercenary contract. We're almost getting paid by it right now. Then again, it also depends on what troops you have. I'm not sure how it really decides. Wait, I didn't buy an enterprise here. The look probably. Otherwise, just being a mercenary until you want to conquer conquer the whole map, or start start another night your own custom night or daughter. There really is no point in being a vassal before that. Let's see if we can find Vault Bold somewhere here. Okay, never mind. He, we don't have enough troops to take him out yet. Let's go find another free Qualtish gem. I think they didn't change that. I think it's still the same. You get a Qualtish gem. When you find a hidden Red, bro uh, red Brotherhood thing. No, no, I, I'm i gonna I join the Kraken Cultists, so until I finish the quest line for that, I'm probably not gonna be starting my own Knighthood Order, custom one. When I do finish that, then I'm gonna join uh, a kingdom. Probably, uh, well, I, for this playthrough, I want to join the Fierce Wing. I have an idea for a playthrough with them, like a Viking Age playthrough. Then I'm gonna start start a knighthood order, but up until then I'm gonna remain a mer mercenary. I do have two playthroughs of Pandora up on my YouTube channel though. One where I started the kingdom here, and the other one I joined the. What was it? Uh, I picked up the claimant for the empire. Took over the empire with him, then betrayed him, uh, knocked him out, then took over the whole map. But that's on my modded version of Pandor, which I changed the empire on, so it's like more Romanish. Which one was it? I think it's. Ah, oh shit! I forgot. I forgot about the. Forgot about the Noldors. Oh, they're actually running away from me. Never mind. Or not. Okay, there it is. We'll grab our free quality gem. I switched the troops around for the Roman Empire or the Bax Empire and changed their names. So there's, instead of the Kumbershuk Ave, you get the Equites, then Praetorian Cavalry, I think. That's how I named them. And instead of crossbowmen, you get archers. And as for the infantry, you get uh, poplites and Praetorians. I don't remember what I did. Well, for the Knighthood Orders, I would say, depending on what you need in your armory, 
Like if you need good archers and infantry, I would go for the uh, Knights of the Silver Mist, the Knight of the, the Silver Mist guys. If you need good cav, well, most of the Knight of the Orders are gonna fit that. You need the cavalry. Yeah, like Knights of the Lion. I think they usually have two-handed weapons, not uh, lances. You do need to look it up on the wiki to see what they, what weapons they get, because it's random. Do they get a lance or just a two-handed sword? But for the calves, I usually go for the Knights of the Dawn or the the opposite of that. I can't remember what they're called. They usually have the best cab. Although they're, you know, almost all of them are pretty much there in terms of stats and equipment. So the, it only depends on which kingdom you're in and which one you want to join. Not much else. The f oh, right, he has a gun. Right. Although I'm not sure how accurate he is. go for the Knight of the Orders which you can get the troops easiest for. Because it is a pain in the ass to get them. Find the treasure chest. That's up here probably. And also I guess it depends on which ones spawn in. Some are guaranteed, some are not. The silver mists are not for example. And they're way easier to get than the... Oh, not, yeah. Another quality gem. And a whole bunch of these. And... We get to loot the chest again, I guess. Yeah, none of that is worth picking up. Okay, we got two quality gems, I guess. If I run into, who was it, Brother Randolph that gives you the position of the hidden mines, I think. Now I have to look it up. Hidden mines. Yeah, Brother Randolph, I'm getting him to, oh, we need a large pouch of di diamonds for that. Also for the and for a weapon for our only weapon we need Wallace Gem and a gold bar. Yeah, the hidden outpost you mean the Knight of the Order mission? I just I just joined the Knighthood so we didn't get any of those missions yet. I'm pretty early in the game. I think it's only the day 100. We do, so we need a quality gem and a gold bar. And a large pouch of diamonds. Hopefully I'm going to be able to get that. Okay, let's see. Heal trade. Upgrade their own weapon or mystical armor plate to emerald ruby. In exchange for, oh god, two quality gems and wine. I'll check it in a moment here. The next time, play. As the gems in the rune weapon plate are not unequipped on the, in the, on the inventory, he will ask the player which upgrade he wants. Oh god, why did they change that around so much? 600 renown, 18 honor, not too much. 
like I said, I just started the game. My party size is only 134. I have 138 troops. <laughs> that makes sense. Right, maybe I should ask him for the Brother Randolph. Okay, he's in Marleons, that's pretty, that's pretty close. I might as well get that ore with. So let's sell these. They don't have the money, of course. Right, I need to hang on to this, we're gonna need them. Maybe we can buy some food now. Much of the bag, yeah, we have a lot of the baggy train left. Yes, I just need to get the money situation sorted. So we need to get the, all the enterprises going. Okay, 600. Let's see. I'm not sure how much you need for a large pouch of diamonds. Well, however much we need, we can only buy a small pouch, which... Large pouch, pouch of diamonds, let's see. And sold in city through the guildmaster to buy and sell. Well, I guess it's gonna be easier to actually knock out one of the unique spawns to get the diamonds. Oh god, we need a hundred thousand for the large pouch, shit. Yeah, definitely. We need to knock out a unique spawn to get them. Cost too much. Okay, which village do we have to save? Yeah, that's pretty close. So I should be able to get the hidden mines location and at one runic weapon. For starts. Probably the runic. Yeah, I'm gonna get the runic axe. Probably. We can deal with shields in a timely manner. Then upgrade it to the ruby one, the red one, so we do piercing damage with it. And as for the plate armor, I'm not sure. Am I gonna go for the medium or the heaviest one? I think I'm gonna go for the heaviest one this time. Who are you? I was about to say he missed. But he got me back, the bastard. So you're being hostile towards Noldor. I usually just befriend them. Don't see much of a point in attacking them. Because uh, a good uh, good idea for a starting a kingdom, because you're gonna be constantly under attack, is just um, befriend the Noldor. Well, yeah, you're gonna get in some battles with him, that's for sure. But like uh, one of the easiest starting positions for a kingdom is just get the uh, Valor Shield and White Stag and Laria then. And all these castles around the uh, Noldor Forest. Since they're gonna chase down all your enemies. So you're gonna have like a defense. By default if you befriend them. And start your own kingdom that is. That's what I usually do. Okay, hopefully Brother Randolph is still here. Yeah. 
All right. Can't get that yet. You sure we're gonna help the village? Can't hold any more of those. Still searching for the black iron spear though. Or for instance, if you like befriend the Misty Mountain Man, I guess you can like, you know, camp up there and start your own kingdom. Doesn't take too long because they only start with, I think, a minus 10 or minus 20 relations with you, something like that. Doesn't like take too many battles to get them on your side, since there's so many, so many uh, parties around from them. 394. Like it's gonna be silken dyes. Wait, yeah. As always. Let's see if there's any tournaments around. Ito Sianelson says. I guess I could go over there once I visit Sarleon. some money. Shit, there's a village I need to say, right? Yup. And I pass right next to it. Hail and well met, gentle lord. 565. Better. Probably not. Yeah, nope. I mean, you can befriend the snake cultists and the heretics too. It just takes a long ass time. Not really worth it. But it is possible. I guess one playthrough idea would be to befriend all the different fractions that invade Pandor. Just have them all on your side. Metanhai and Barkley and the... Uh, what was the other one? Yeah, I can't remember. Melatine, too. Just, just befriend everyone and then have natural defenses all around you. <laughs> I might actually do that at some point. It would be interesting to, if I can pull it off. Squeeze through. Yo, what by parties? I'm sure that. Uh. Well, does the whole castle get attacked? Or just you? Because that shouldn't happen. That's probably a bug then. Check the version of the mod you have, actually. Never had that happen to me. Unless you just click on camp that, and then wait here for some time. Maybe search Google for it too, since I never heard of that happen before. Oh, finally, we can fight some heretics here and snake cultists. Yo, oh, what can she do? Right, we can buy fancy clothes from her for our wife later on. 800? No. <laughs> I mean, that's not that much, actually. 
Uh, I'm used to running into armies that have like two or 3k troops on them back in the day. <laughs> oh, those were a pain in the ass to beat. But it is possible with 300 troops if you just restart the battle a whole lot of times. You just use your archers to kill them off, pick them off, and restart once they run out of ammunition. Oh yeah, we had a couple of battles like half an hour ago or an hour ago against the uh, two heretic armies. Once you get rid of their demonic magnuses, they aren't that hard to beat. But that is the thing, right? <laughs> kind of hard to kill. Especially since they have like, what, what was it? 190 something health? Almost 200, and their armor is like 100 armor and or beyond that on each piece. Although if you can get them stuck, which I used to do, like have two shields and just run into the enemy and get them stuck on me, your archers can deal a lot of damage to them and kill them easily. The only thing is you need the... Uh, a horse that has a shitload of armor and fucking HP. Because you're gonna go down quick. I really should just start beating some um, heretic armies if you can run it or snake cultists if I run into any that don't have like a million troops just so we can get the tour now now so we can have more units I think the sweet spot for that is like 200 once you cross 200 it kind of gets snowbally easily get more than that This is hardly fair. Come on, don't run away. <laughs> that jump hit. I guess another challenging thing for this mod would be playing it on the hardest difficulty. Yeah. I mean, that could work for people who are not constantly in battles like me. I don't want to sit back and watch my troops deal all the damage. Alright, I got that. Got to speak to... Ooh, let's... Hmm. I'm not sure if I can, I can win that. I mean, I can, I would just take too many losses. If I can get the mission to knock out that base, that would be great. Let's all some easy XP. I do hate it when the enemies can get you through their fucking friends. It's 
knife anyone. Yeah, we just don't do enough damage with the crossbow. Oh yeah, that's smart. Turn your back towards the crossbow, man, on their side. Easy peasy. We are gonna need a lot of money later on if we make a night to daughter and start upgrading it. Then again I think yeah I think I'm gonna call them the expendables. We don't wanna we don't need the best armor on them immediately. The animations on that on the shadows, Jesus. Yeah, don't pay attention to me. It just takes them too long to reload the crossbow. I think I used bows in my Prophecy of Rome playthrough. I think. Oh, he gets a sword and I get a club. A bit unfair. Yeah, hidden chest, nice. Is the Emperor there? Nope. Where the hell is he? I won't take that out until we get the quest for it. Uh, we could go help out the Noldor. It's gonna screw up our relations though. the experience yep. that sweet 700 experience That's better than on this. Yep. It requires the same strength. 